In this video I'm going to show you how to quickly create creepy dark background ambiences. And so this is the default preset in Vital. And I'm just going to change this to a sine wave. And also activate the other two oscillators here. And I just want to create a full sound to start with. So let's maybe pitch this one up a bit and this one down a bit. And maybe give the middle one a few voices, a bit of detune. I don't really care about the tuning of all of these because I want a dissonant sound anyways. And we're gonna wash all of this out with a lot of reverb. So let's go to the effects section and just enable a bit of distortion here. Use the reverb and afterwards a filter because for this kind of ambience we don't need a lot of high end. I'm actually just gonna set the mix to 100%. Make it a reverb a bit longer, increase the size. And to give this a bit more movement, I'm just going to use Alpha 1 and map this to the global voice transpose. So we just get an overall pitch movement. But I really just want a very small, subtle movement. So just use a very low amount here. And we are also not going to use the full amount here. And then make this a bit slower because we don't want the pitch movement to be too audible. We can also use the same LFO to modulate a few other things. So maybe the pitch on LFO 1, again, just very small amount. Maybe the same on this middle one here. Also, again, very small amount. And we could also give this filter a bit of movement. Probably make this even slower. And now let's maybe play a few notes together, a really low note. And then maybe just two octaves higher here and see how that sounds. Make this longer. And now we can add more reverb to this, to wash it out even more. So just grab any reverb you like. And again, 100% here. Although you can play around with this. Of course, this depends on what kind of sound you're going for. Increase decay time, bit of size, stereo, density, and maybe a compressor afterwards. We can even stack more reverbs. So maybe we use maybe this one here. And we can use an EQ just to shape things a bit more. And once you're satisfied with this, you can actually also start layering in other stuff. So if you want to give this more of an organic feel, then actually you can just use any recordings that you have and layer them on top of this. Maybe something like this. Reduce the volume drastically and also just pitch it down a lot. And layer even more stuff there. You can just sort of sprinkle these shorter samples wherever you want and build your background ambience with them. So now I have this sound as well. And this sound here. And now I'm just going to group all of them together. And I'm actually just going to use this entire chain and just move it onto the group. So everything is affected by the reverbs. And then we can just see how this sounds all together. So now we get this small rumbly accents in the background and we can just build a really full ambience with that. You can also just bounce this to audio. And very often these sound interesting when they're reversed. So let's see what this sounds like. Mm -hmm. 
And of course, you can just use different pitches here in your synthesizer and use different samples, different reverbs. And then you can also create multiple versions of this and just layer them on top of each other, each at a really low volume. And then you can get very interesting and full sounding background ambiences.